Yo, what's up guys, it's uh, Dan here at SLP Gels and uh, yeah, I'm back for week 3 I think of Tutorial Tuesday for S uh, Juno Productions but it's SLP and uh, yeah, basically this, this let me start that again basically in this tutorial I'm going to be telling you guys uh, how to render at audio as I know a lot of people when they're first uh, new to After Effects become stuck on this particular problem and also how to playback because a lot of people still don't know how to playback audio <coughs> in the timeline which is down here so yeah let's get uh, on the tutorial so you want to go to uh, control N or composition do composition and then 1280 by 720 uh, pixel asset ratio can be square pixels and then frame rate can be 59.9 actually no that's wrong um, the frame rate is what you record in so like for a dazzle I think it's 29.97 but for me it's 59.94 uh, resolution can be left at full start time code can be left at default which is uh, is that seven zeros eight zero and six zeros <laughs> and then uh, the clip size so mine's I think mine's today is about th I'll leave it at 30 seconds and then background color can be left at black then you get this then you want to go to either control I or file import file and then let me go into libraries, videos, uh, montage clips, damn. And then I'll just take uh, any clip which is triple spray, I guess it for you, Havana. Let that import and then drag that from here down to here. And let me fit this to size quickly so you can see. And then, um, I quickly add a colour correction to it because I'm a bit OCD with stuff like that. So let me quickly uh, do that and then we can get on with it. I know it's not really part of the tutorial, but hey, I want to do it. So colour and then down to the bottom one, which is violet edition. And uh, yeah, so um, re uh, playing back audio, I think this has got any. I, mean, I can add an audio sound so you guys can see how to do it so music and then just pick the far east movement like a G6 and drag it down to there drag it down to the bottom and now when you play it back normally it's going to lag because I'm recording but when you play it back normally uh, it's not going to play it back because After Effects isn't really designed for audio and handling it so what you want to do is you want to come up to this top bit here and if this is not if that's not here which is the preview tab just come over to window and then it should, that's untick and just tick that or control and three and then it should appear here and then you want to basically click on uh, RAM preview options and then the frame rate would be wherever you put your composition in and you can find that out if you forgot by going to your timeline right clicking composition settings and then 59.94 for me so I leave it at wherever you compositions in uh, skip just basically means uh, it will run preview it and it will skip um, a frame basically every one frame, every two frames, every five frames. Um, so yeah, leave that to zero. Resolution can be at full if you want to get the what it's going to come out like. Well, if you just want to match beats and stuff, then just put it to a third or a half, I would say. And then basically, uh, full screen can be left unchecked because I'm not really sure what it does, but going by the title probably makes it like the full size of your. Uh, after effects so yeah you want, if you want to click on that basically what it does is it just say you have the clip here and then you press from current time it will ram preview it from where your uh, time cursor is at that particular point so uh, yeah just leave it unchecked if unless you want to do that but and then basically what you want to do is just click this little free line play button here and that will render out the frames for you and then basically when you've got to the point that you want to stop uh, stop rendering the frames then just press play and then it all reminds me laggy. I can hear it on mine, but you obviously don't, don't know if you can hear it or not. You probably won't be able to, but yes, yeah, so that's basically how you do uh, audio playback. So now let's move on to uh, to uh, rendering audio. So we go to composition or control shift and then the diagonal bracket thing, the jiggy, and add to render queue. Now, you're going to leave the render settings at best. If they're not on best, then you can find it here. Or 
yeah, just yeah, you can just find it there. Uh, output module, you want to click on lossless, and then this will appear. Now, uh, I've found for the format for rendering out audio in, the best ones are AVI and QuickTime. Windows Media mucks up a lot, so you probably want to stay clear of that. I know a lot of you guys probably rely on Windows Media, but um, QuickTime can still play in Windows Media if you have a codec and it's free to get. So if you just want to go onto Google, you can just find them on there, they're easy. But AVI and QuickTime are the best, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, QuickTime is basically the same as AVI, so um, now this is unchecked by default. So if you guys are having a problem, it's probably because you haven't checked this. So just check that, and then basically that will bring up these three boxes here. And then you want to change the 44.100 or whatever yours defaulted on to 48.000. Now that's the magic number for audio, I think. For people who are crazy about audio, it's probably not. These you probably are, but 48 is the one that's worked best for me, and that's what I'm going to stick with. So 48, you can try and narrow with them, but anything below that will sound like a. Uh, I don't know, it's like you got your headphones half in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so stay clear of below that and you can try above that. Um, 8 bit and 16 bit, 32 bit you can just leave it alone. Uh, 8 bit basically is for playback on computer and um, YouTube. And 16 bit is for playback for DVD and like cinema and stereo and stuff like that. So if you guys are looking to uh, edit for a professional someone, then go for 16 bit. For the majority of people who are watching, it's probably going to go for 8 bit. Just click that and then leave it at stereo. And then that's about it. Then you just want to press OK. And I'm going to do AVI quickly, which is about the same. So yeah, AVI is exactly the same. It's the exact same saying, so you want to do AVI instead. So yeah, and press OK. And then you can just save it, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Save and then render. And this will render out, and then at the end, let me stop that, it will appear in your desktop. So yeah, um, that's about it guys, if you have any questions then uh, uh, you can either PM me on directly to my channel, or you can comment in this section below. But yeah, apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.